In the Donbass, diplomacy feels a distant prospect. Russian forces are advancing towards the strategic city of Severodonetsk, trying to encircle the Ukrainian defenders. Heavy artillery and overwhelming force, which eventually won them the ruins of Mariupol, still their tactic. A senior advisor to Ukraine's president says only force of arms will end this conflict. Russia sells nothing but war. It's only interested in expansion. Today it attacks Ukraine. Tomorrow it could attack any other country on the perimeter. Georgia, Moldova and so on. There is no other formula but to subdue Russia today through an end to the war on Ukraine's terms. But for the last few days at least, it is the Russians who've been getting their way. In the south of the country, the occupation administration there was keen to show off the hydro power dam they now control. And water has played a role in the build-up to this conflict. For eight years, the annexed Crimean Peninsula was denied an important supply of it. Russia's invasion has got it flowing again. The North Crimea Canal, the part of it that supplies water to Crimea, has been blocked for years. But since the beginning of March, we've been supplying water to Crimea. Here in the capital, despite Russian gains on the battlefield, the mood remains defiant. Now that is in no small part due to the horrors that have emerged from areas retaken from the Russians. Places like Apin, where two thirds of buildings were destroyed. Or Moshun, once a village, now a wasteland. Back in the Donbass, even amid the horror, people seem to find a moment to reflect and maybe pray for a peace that seems as far away as ever. And in the last hour or so, we understand the parliament here has approved a request by the president, by President Zelensky, to extend martial law for a further 90 days. And in reality, I think people here expect this conflict to go on for that duration and longer still. As I say, negotiations will take place at some point, but it's going to be when one side feels that they have lost on the battlefield conclusively, and we are a long way away from that.